Hello everyone, my name is Justin. We're here on the Carolina Hurricanes owner mode series. I do have a GM mode series for NHL 17. Link will be at the top of the description if you aren't interested in owner mode. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, stick around, um, and we're going to get right into this. So we are the owner of Carolina. We Last episode, if you did not watch, we requested to move and the owner said no because he's too cheap. Even though he had a high willingness to move, now it's to none. I'm hoping to let me request again this off season or later in the year at least. Um, I will fill you in on the owner's goals in case you did not watch the first episode or the second episode. I expect you to boost fan happiness to 89. So it seems that's really we're trying to tank. So a team that's trying to tank wants a fan happiness of 89. Unless the fans are really happy about us tanking, I don't know if we'll get that done. But I'm hoping if we get the 70% concession fan happiness, then if we get the two secondaries, I'm hoping he won't be that mad at us. I don't know. Um, so there's not much as an owner we can do since we aren't relocating. Um, we're just pretty much going to sim. We're going to maintain our facility. We're going to maintain the prices, look at the sales, and stuff like that. But other than that, not much we can do until the off season. We are still kind of the GM. We want to make sure that this team's going fine. But we do want to tank, actually. We won our last two games. So if we can get some losses, that'd be fine. We don't have many players that are trade line tradable. Meaning one year left. I mean, theoretically, they could be traded. But that's usually it's just guys with one year left. Sometimes you throw in some other ones. But I believe Rob Hainsey. I think is a guy we could trade the trade deadline. Um, I'm not sure how far Dominic Moore off of waivers. We don't really need him. I'm not sure how far we're going to go in this episode. Normally I go trade deadline, but for a tanking team, there's not much decisions to be made. We might just go to the end of the year. These owner mode videos are going to be a little bit longer than the other ones. I do want to say that um, there will no longer be snoring, Justin snoring dog in these videos. I'm officially kicking him out of my room. Every time I record, it's official. So fan happiness is not close to 89 at all. Matt Tennis Tennyson. Uh, maybe you guys can leave a comment if you know. Is there a way to up? Well, if we're going to the end of the year, it doesn't matter. But is there a way to up the fan happiness without winning? I don't know. Like if there is, it's like see, we get a win and we go up a few, but then we're gonna lose and we'll go right back down. If we don't want to win. Wonder if winning makes it go up more than losing makes it go down. If that's the case, then we might be decent. So Murphy has filled in for Tennyson. He's more or less just a placeholder in this top four spot because I want these guys on the top six. I want him on the top four, and then these two at the top two. So. Let's just take a quick peek. Uh, 23 games, that's all I need to know. So point totals in 23 games. I don't believe anyone was injured beside Tennyson. Just take a few look at our main guys. So 18 and 23, not bad. 18 and 23, not bad. And he stepped me at 12 and 23, but only one goal. 15, 15. So our lines seem to be doing okay, 13. So that's good. We're just gonna keep on simulating, I guess. Let's I need to keep a track of this. 62 fan rating. So we won, it went up to 64, but then we actually I don't know what it went up to. Okay, so let's check. I don't think our arena needs anything. Let's check our sales and stuff. See what's happening over here with the arenas and facilities. Let's see what this has to say. So total revenue. Carolina, we are 24th, not worse in the league. But only six hundred thousand dollars this year. That's not, so far this year. That's not good. <laughs> that really isn't good. We have a small market with nineteen thousand capacity. I mean, come on. Game tickets. Are we selling tickets or are we not? Let's be brutally honest. 
this is what I mean. This is why we need the change in pace. We need the move. 24th. Concessions. I think we're pretty much going to be 24th on everything. 25th. Merch. Twenty-third in a parking, of course, Chicago and Pittsburgh up there. Parking twenty-third. All right. So, is there a way to see like seventy percent fan happiness? Is what they want. Um, upper bowl seats are a bit overpriced. So let's look at this. <clears throat> Sold last game out of each capacity is three thousand, and we only sold seventeen hundred. Okay, everyone's not happy with the prices. We're gonna lower them. It is a crappy team that no one wants to really come watch, but hopefully we can raise the how much money we get here. I mean, look at this. We sold 100 out of 400. Like, we're not getting very many sales. 10 sessions. So they don't like that. They don't, the price of everything is too high, okay. I mean, I can lower some of it, but we're not going to make much profit this year. I'll, I mean, I know that's already, maybe that'll convince our owner we should freaking leave this dump. No offense to real life Carolina fans. I know you, they have some fans. But let's be honest, if the attendance is this low. Actually, that we won't back up. The merchandise, no fan feedback. The parking, no feedback. Okay. So that might raise the revenue because we lowered the prices, but maybe more people will buy it then. You know what I mean? We have nothing with the facilities to do. We're just going to keep simming. San Jose, we lost. That's interesting how the sim keeps going before it actually tells you whether you won or lost. See? Who won? So we have a little bit better record than I actually thought we would, and that I'm actually hoping. I mean, I want us to be awful. I want a top three pick in this year's draft. Replace McClement. And we're actually getting wins. That's interesting. So we are going for a forward in the draft. Um, a guy like Comtois wouldn't be bad, but we have uh, two playmaking prospects. I don't know if either of them will be a first line, and you could also argue that there's no snipers. That's what you really want to get as a sniper. Maybe we should be playing Di Giuseppe. Bickle can not really. Nestor Seal can take face offs. Yes, he can. And we'll do that. Let's get McClement. Although that might have taken McClement. That taken that has taken McClement off the penalty kill. I know it. As the game froze, are you? My mic or my controller is has just died. But don't need to worry though. I have the Xbox One plug and play. I just gotta plug this sucker in. We're back in business, baby. Alright, um that's probably take the McClement off. Of the penalty kill. 
install nor um okay put him in that's interesting uh we'll go stallberg i don't know it's whatever a few conference games we blow them both oh well not the end of the world I just the thing I am concerned about is we're not going to get our primary goal. I already know that. Charlotte Checkers are doing pretty good in the AHL though. I think I want to keep these in line with my GM mode series, the episode. So I think I am going to uh, stop it at the trade deadline. Jakob Slavin replace. But we'll see. I think I'm going to. Okay, so Arena upgrade and maintain needs done. Upgrade and maintain. So parking lot one. We'll repair that guy. Um, actually, I think I'm going gonna go to the end of the year. It doesn't matter if my series are in the line. This is owner mode, uh, and we want to see some owner stuff happen in the off season. Like potentially relocation, you know, the draft and fun stuff. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with an end of season episode next next time if we sim the last twenty games and then it's like here's who did this, who's who did that. We'll just do that all today, long episode. We're gonna try to get it done with. Uh, Jakob Slavin's back, or Jacob Slavin, whatever you want to say. I've heard Jakob. So some guys have grown. Teravon and, and what's his name haven't, which concerns me. Maybe they should be down the line. I don't know. We'll see. Lavin's been injured again. Let's keep on simming. So nineteen twenty six, it's obvious we aren't a playoff team. Hayden Flurry. My profits get down to seventeen million, actually now down to sixteen point seven. I don't even know if we're gonna make money this year, which is a little bit concerning. Okay, after this game against Philadelphia, uh we are going to check out our revenue and that kind of stuff. See if we're doing any better with fan happiness. Aiden Flurry is back. And another loss there. So we are 19, 28, and 3. Yeah, not doing so hot. Team rankings and sales. So total revenue. 
Oh, we've actually gone up to 13. We're making some money, baby. Although we're in a big, tight group of people with just over a million dollars with all these teams. Chicago is under a million. That's interesting. They might not be playing well or something. Uh, game tickets. We are selling a lot more tickets. Concessions. Huh. That's not good. We want our fans to be happy with concessions. Our merch. Who would buy Carolina Hurricane merch with the season we're having? In the parking. Doesn't really matter where we're at in parking out. We are actually sixth. So we've definitely gone up on the team rankings here. Um, let's see what the fan feedback has turned into. We're looking at positive for the ticket prices. Huh. Never mind. Oh, I don't want to do that. 50. So, yep, yeah, everyone's happy with that concessions. Can't believe how much Carolina charged for large french fries. For burger, they're still not freaking happy. They're happy with the okay, so the burger and the french fries. Yeah, I guess the french fries could go down some. And the burger. Oh gosh, what do you want? Eight bucks for a burger? I mean, come on. I'm trying to be reasonable, but when we put it at the minimum, I mean, come on. I did not want to yeah, so still doesn't want to move. That's interesting. Um, I think I am gonna actually just go to the trade deadline. This has been a longer video as it is, and you know, I don't want to go to the end of the year, have to go through all the stats and all the team rankings. I mean, it's been a long video. I know we haven't done a, a lot owner emoji, but there is a lot of GMO stuff involved in this. Uh, let me know if when it's gonna let me try to ask for. Okay, we gotta upgrade and maintain. Let me know when it's gonna uh, let me ask to relocate again. Cause I think if it waits to this off season. Then we'd have to wait to the following off season to actually move. Also, I want to know if um I was gonna say something and now I have no clue what I was gonna say. Should we just upgrade this? We have a lot of money. Sure. These are gonna need repaired soon anyway. Minus we just repair it all of this if it's in the 60s I mean it's gonna need repaired in like a few days so that's everything I think we're gonna be running low on cash though making our arena nice I was, I was gonna ask something now I forget what it was Oh, uh, who should we trade at the trade deadline? Um, you know, usually it's guys with one year left. Stepniak has Stepniak has two, but we can move him if we if you guys want to. I mean, he's not having an awful year. He's a good depth guy. Should Teravon and Lindholm be playing on a different line? They haven't grown any. The third line score is a. Uh, Maybe do this, move the whole third line down. Uh, we can try that. And also, Hannafin hasn't been growing. Maybe we should do that. We'll try that out, see if they grow any. So I know it kind of depends on wherever the heck you put them in the lineup. So let's just get up to the trade deadline. I'll show you who's available in the league. I'll show you 
who we can trade from our team. Also, who should I draft? I don't know if the draft will be next episode, but I might try to squeeze that in there. Probably it won't be. You know, obviously a sniper would be ideal, but there is no top 10 snipers. I know this draft class. Should we go for a playmaker, even though we got Lindholm and, and Teravani? I mean, they're not going to become first liners. We all know that. So maybe we should go Comtois. There's also Nolan Patrick, a power forward. I know him. Um, I know there's a really good left wing two-way forward. I forget his name, though. We can go two-way forward. But we need the superstar of the future, the elite guy. Who's going to be the anchor of our team. The guy we're going to build around. I mean you can argue already that's Noah Hannafin or something. But I'm talking forward wise. So we are 21, 33, and 4. I'm starting to think the fans around here hate us. If they still say the prices are too freaking low. Get Slavin back in there. He's had injury problems this whole season. So we are at the trade deadline here. We have a pretty poopy record of 22, 33, and 5. Let's check out the team standings to see where that would put us if the season ended right now. That puts us last in the league. Um, okay. Where are our points at? Right here. So two points on these guys. So we are going to be a bottom feeder. We know that. Oh, well. Uh, let's check out our player stats here. Uh, Falk and Skinner, both 43 points. Rask, Jordan Stahl, Lindholm and Teravine and Stepniak. Nordstrom and all these guys. Uh, Goaltender wise. There's that. And they both suck. Let's manage contracts real quick. Let's see who has one year left on their contract that we can move here at the trade deadline we want to be a bad team I also want to know should we trade up if we don't get one of the lottery top three picks the guys we can trade is McClement I don't know if there'd be a market for him or not Hainsey he's old uh, Stahlberg, DiGiuseppe I kinda wanna keep DiGiuseppe um, I think we can get away with trading a guy like Lee Stepniak with two years left. Um, also, maybe we can get rid of Cam Ward this year. Maybe wait till next year. Let me know, guys. What should we do? We're here at the trade deadline. Let's view some other teams. Um, stuff. Uh, trade and improve. Trading block, browse trade blocks. So we want to trade for either prospects or picks. Um, actually, no sense going through this. We're trading for picks. We don't have enough people to get rid of for prospects. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Tune in either tomorrow or the next day for the next GM mode episode. And then a day or two after that will be the next episode of this series. Please subscribe, stick around, we're trying to grow this channel, I'm having a lot of fun, I'll see you guys next time.